Welcome to our Influencer Podcast, where we connect influencers and brands, talk all things influencer and creator marketing. Special episode here today for you skincare and beauty influencers. We've got Ivana Kozak with Holistic Brands, uh, founder here, and we're going to talk about her new Ellis Spa brand, some opportunities there. Um, actually, not a new brand, I should say, but opportunities. Ivana will, will take us through uh, these influencer ops, the products, so on, so forth. But first, we are going to get into your background. So Ivana, welcome again. And can you give us a little bit about your history, how you brought Ellis Spa skincare over here to North American market? Absolutely. Well, thank you very much for having me. It's very exciting. And uh, well, my background actually is from corporate world. However, my, I'm also a yoga teacher. So the way actually Holistic Brands was funded was that I was born in Poland, lived in Canada for about 25 years, and I had to go back to Poland for a project that I was working on for just a couple of months. But I stayed for four years. And the reason was that somebody asked me to teach a yoga class. Really? And it just exploded and it grew and many students I was writing for the best Polish magazines about holistic lifestyle, yoga, meditation, and so on. One of the students was Ella. And that's how I've, I've met Ella, who is the founder, the brain, the heart behind our brand. When I was going back to Canada, she asked me if I would like to represent her brand in North America, because apparently from the very first yoga class, she wanted to be in business with me. She never mentioned that until I was leaving <laughs> four years later. So after some research, studying, because it was a new industry to me. But as I was researching it and trying her products and giving them to various um, estheticians, doctors here in Canada and, and getting their feedback, what I found is that her products are very special. And I've decided to actually launch Ella Spa in Canada in 2014. So basically, Ella was my student in my yoga class, and then I became her student in the skincare industry. So here That's we great. are. That's a great that's a great connection. So mm -hmm. how do people end up, as you mentioned, it sounds like a lot of boots on the ground in terms of getting the product out there in the skincare, in the spa world. How, how did you find initially, if we go back to 2014 after you launched, how did people end up finding their way to and choosing Ella Spa as their well, yes, product. we, we, you know, we basically, we went out there and talked to estheticians, spas, clinics, naturopathic doctors picked our line almost immediately because naturopathic doctors are all into the natural and products and safe, ob obviously products and lifestyle. So they've picked up our line very quickly. That was our, the first kind of um, uh, segment. But one of the things that really brought us to the market quicker and, and helped us to grow in Canada was one of the top, top celebrity makeup artists, Monica Huppert, who I was introduced to by a, a, a friend. And I did not know that she was one of the top makeup artists. And during the first meeting, after looking at the products and trying them and so on, she said to me, I love your products. I'm going to use them on Star Trek. We just, we're starting to film next week. And we were on Star Trek, just like that. That's awesome. The movie. And then we were on Deadpool. And then, you know, because Monica has such a reputation and she works with the biggest productions. Other um, makeup artists obviously found out, and we now we work we work with over hundred, maybe more, um, celebrity makeup artists from Hollywood, Vancouver, New York, Toronto, and so on. And that's a very interesting thing happened is that you know makeup artists receive a lot of skincare products from skincare brands. They actually buy our products. Not only that they pay for our products, they actually post started posting on social media about Ella Spa. And that's what gave us that boost in Canada. Okay, gotcha. That's awesome. So that sounds like that was a great breakaway point for you to have the yes. makeup artist, right? Not only yes. promote, but also, as you said, purchase your product. It's not like a real customer paying money for it, mm -hmm. right? I know that from the software world, there's always that difference between giving it away to someone and hoping that they use it and them actually coming to you and buying it. Let's talk about 
maybe a, a challenge since then, right? So you had your breakaway point, but we all know running a company is challenges pop up, right? And, and it's not a clear path to growth all the time. What are the things that you've had to figure out and maybe a one big challenge that you've had to deal with and, and surmount over the last nine or 10 years? I think the biggest uh, challenge, apart from COVID, because yes, we have right. been through it, right. so let's not even mention it. Don't bucket, yeah. Exactly. The biggest challenge I, for me, for our company, was and still is to educate customers, estheticians, doctors about the difference between, you know, clean beauty, which is now a buzzword, and mm -hmm. real clean beauty like Ella Spa, which is professional grade, which is 100% natural, which has clinically tested results and it's proven clinically. It was developed for European medispas. It wasn't developed for aromatherapy purposes and to use nice lavender in it. It was developed scientifically. It's a truly medispa great professional skincare line. And there is so much as we know now talk about the clean products, clean beauty. So for us to educate about the difference and what is real and what is just, you know, a buzzword, that's the biggest challenge because many companies are from small to big to medium. Now they have clean skincare lines, but they have one clean ingredient in it or two or three and 80% will be questionable. I'll give you a good example, what we want to really educate customers about. Our products are manufactured in European Union where there are over 1,100 active ingredients which have been banned from being used in skincare products. In the US, there are 12 which are restricted, not even banned, just restricted. So here is the first big difference. Whatever is manufactured in Canada, US, doesn't go through the same process. It's These products are not as safe. So that's our challenge to say, look, there is a difference between natural and organic and natural and organic. Not all natural and organic are good, safe, and they may not have efficacy as well. So that's our challenge. Yeah, it's interesting on and scary, I guess, as an American citizen, the difference. I never thought of that in terms of location. I guess I just because I'm in the industry, not the skincare industry itself, but working with the influencers that I, I, I knew. And I don't know if most people know that, though, so I'm glad you brought it up, that the clean and natural brands, there's basically no regulation on those, right? You can say, if, I mean, if you have something, I mean, what does that even mean, right? If something is cleaner. It's just it? a buzzword. It is a buzzword because people mm -hmm. are, you know, customers are more and more educated. We demand cleaner products. That's why we buy organic food. We look at our, uh, what we eat and so on. We want to use safe skincare products because skin is the largest organ. Whatever you put on it, it eventually goes into your bloodstream. So we are more aware as, as a nation, as people, we are, and we look for those products. So what the marketing companies do, manufacturers, they go with that trend and they manufacture a lot of products under the, you know, clean beauty kind of brand. But are they really clean? As I said, there's no regulation. In European Union, at least we have that, we cannot use 1,100, over 1,100 ingredients. So there is that protection, right? Uh, it doesn't mean that you cannot use, the, there are ingredients which are not the best still, still for the cream, for the skin in European Union, but there is that good starting point. 1,100 are not to be used. So you are safer. We go two steps ahead because we use not only safe ingredients as per European Union standards, but we also use organic ingredients and 100% natural ingredients. So 100% natural, 98% of our ingredients have eco-certification from European Union. So we are safe, we are clean, and also we use biomimetic ingredients. And that means that the ingredients have the same molecular structure as that ingredient which naturally exists in your skin. So it's 
our products are not only safe, but they are, we would try to use the ingredients which your skin recognizes, which it, it can utilize properly. So we go that further step ahead. Yeah, that's many steps ahead. Meanwhile, here in the US, I was thinking just a couple of years ago, you started seeing, at least with the natural products, you go to the self-care deodorant aisle and it says aluminum free, which mm -hmm. doesn't really make you feel too good because you think, oh, aluminum is normal. <laughs> that, right. I didn't right. know that was normal. Right. Yeah. Um, and, and so that's exactly. kind of where we're at here in the US. So how do you handle that then as a business owner, as a marketer? Because um, that's something we always think about when we're marketing our own company too. How do we differentiate? Oh, hey, we actually have the influencers as users versus pointing out to the broader internet and saying good luck. So it's something every business owner thinks about, right? Is, is how do I articulate that we're mm -hmm. different? Do you just stay away from the clean and natural words? Is it almost like you have to come up with your own or do you just elevate Ella Spa? So that's Ella Spa it then becomes the brand that people need to associate. How do, you, how do you handle that from a marketing challenge standpoint? Well, it's it's a challenge. Uh, that's why I said that is the challenge. Exactly. So, you know, uh, we are just entering the US, but um, how we want to handle it is we want to work with people such as influencers who are aligned with our values, who would like to educate the public, who also care about the environment, because I didn't mention our products are as environmentally sound as possible. Our packaging has the I am green certification from European Union. So we want to align ourselves with such partners who nature is dear to them. Safety of the products is dear to them and they want to educate their followers and they want to tell their followers men and women to you know i want we want them to say look it is your right to use safe products that actually work and are clinically proven to work and here is ella spa so we want to align ourselves with like-minded and like-hearted people yeah awesome yeah makes a lot of sense there um, so from the influencer standpoint, have you worked with influencers in Europe before, or is this mostly a North America thing, Canada, US, where we're looking to the influencers to help spread the word? As I've mentioned, uh, we have not worked with influencers here in Canada. To be honest, makeup artists became our influencers out right, of their the own desire, yeah. which was fantastic. Mm -hmm. But we are entering the U.S. market, which are we we are very excited about that, and we want to work with influencers in the U.S. I think this is such a phenomenal way of spreading the word. Yeah, that's great. So to recap, then on the types that you're looking for, and we will get a link to your mm -hmm. collab posted as well, so our beauty and, and skincare influencers can apply. If you could just give us a rundown, any specific types in terms of follower size? Are we looking for nano, micro influencers? I assume we would like to see some high engagement rates. So we'd like to yeah. focus, like as you'd mentioned, on the natural, the true quality of the product. Yeah, sort of elaboration then in terms of what influencers should apply to work with you and Ella Spa. Yes, so uh, we would like to work, you know, with nano and and and, uh, but also bigger influencers if if this is of interest to them. As I've mentioned, um, I think people who really react very well to Ella Spa products are those who whose lifestyle includes maybe yoga, meditation, nature, caring about nature, um, but also beauty as well, skincare products, because we know that estheticians and, and, and consumers, we are all using skincare products. So we want to align ourselves with those influencers who are into beauty, into that kind of life lifestyle, but also to those that care about the environment, care about nature and want to, to, to use and educate customers about safe, natural, safe skincare products. Excellent. Any best-selling products that you'd recommend either for our influencers or a guy like yes. me that we should check out? Oh, sure. Well, our number one bestseller and uh, every makeup artist buy, buys that product and uses on celebrities is our hyaluronic acid, which has high and low molecular structure. So it works within and the on the surface of the skin. It's hydrating, it's plumping, it's a serum. So it's 
absolutely amazing. Anti-aging cream, again, um, number two uh, bestseller, I would say. Just to give you an example, the, the results after four weeks of using anti-aging cream, elasticity of the skin increases by 26%, moisture level by 28%, transepidermal water loss decreases by 15% almost. Just to tell you, when we've sent our products to the independent lab to do the tests, we got the back, the results back, and we were told that they have never ever seen results like that. Because the highest, for example, moisture level would be in you know 15, 16%. In our case, it's well over 20%. So these are the kind of results. So hyaluronic acid, anti-aging cream. Now in winter time, also a moisture boost cream because the skin is dry, because the skin is, you know, we're exposed to cold weather outside and hot and, and dry inside. So three products. Okay, Hyaluron great. Appreciate the tips. Yeah, I've noticed boost. that here, even though we're in California, it's northern, it started to get cooler and the central heat running all the time. It's a, it's a big difference in terms of drying out the skin. That's amazing. Four weeks and all those weeks. results. Okay. I was going to ask, because I get why the makeup artists would want, because they're, of course, trying to have everyone look good. But um, yeah, I was wondering what the timeline would be, because it must work yeah. fast. That's very quick in terms of results. So, you know, we, we get, it's interesting how we get sometimes the emergency phone calls from makeup artists because their main actor has acne. And they call us and say, what do we do? So we we said, here is the product line, you know, set. And they get results. It doesn't have to always be four weeks. They get results within a week already. There's huge improvement. But the four weeks is a standard time that the, um, the laboratory will actually test it on. So it's a four week. But people see the results after the two, three, four days. You will start seeing that your skin begins to look and feel different. It will just be more healthy, youthful looking. That's great. All right. I'm gonna, you got me sold. I'm going to load up the cart now. Once we get off the phone, I'll Perfect. let you go on this one, Ivana. The one drawback I can see, how often do you get ID'd then if you're trying to buy a glass of wine or get a drink out? Well, I'm 62. Get out of here. So, yes, I'm 62. And um, when I was 40, I was still being ID'd. I, I'm not ID'd anymore. <laughs> just passed. You just had to put the, <laughs> finally got to put the ID away. Yeah. That's amazing. Yes. Well, there we go. What a, there you go. <laughs> it says everything for Ella Spa. Good for you and good for the company. So how can people find Ella Spa? And again, you have their collab posted with us. Is Correct. that right? Yes. People it's can Ella apply to we'll get that link yeah. underneath. Um, how else can you give out the website, socials, all that good stuff to buy your product? Yes, it's ella-spa.com. So ela-spa.com or at Ella Spa Skincare on Instagram. So please visit us, have a look, reach out to us. We look forward to, to working with the influencers that, as I said, are aligned with us. And let's make a little revolution. There we go. Skincare, <laughs> beauty influencers. Let's go. Revolution time. There you go. And I did your entire life like Ivana. <laughs> Ivana Kozak, our founder here at Ella Spa. Thanks again for joining us, Ivana. This was great. And we'll, again... Encourage everyone to apply to your collab, especially our, our beauty skincare folks and influencers. Thank you very much, Brett.